Hi everybody, this is Meg from the Scott Family Amazium. I'm the camp coordinator here and we're super sad that we couldn't um, have you all here for camp this week, but we are excited that we get to share some of our activities that we created with you through this platform. So yesterday, Olivia and myself introduced a little bit about ourselves and what our journey is gonna be like this week. We did mood boards yesterday, so you might have seen pictures of this um, to tell you a little bit about myself. Gardening, I love gardening, I love the outdoors, playing, and then uh, my home, sugar, I have a big sweet tooth. So that's gonna guide my projects throughout this week, just knowing what I like. Today, we are gonna look at making some cute little plushies, and these can be plushies like I've made that have the googly eyes, or they can be um, pillows. This one's quite small, so it could be for maybe a teddy bear or another uh, friend that you have at home. Um, but yeah, we're going to learn how to make these today because this week is all about taking agency over our space. What can we do to make our space feel exciting with just the materials we have around the house? Let's get started. First, you need some kind of material. I've used old t-shirts. We have Tinkerfest t-shirts that I found, so old t-shirts. Traditionally, people tend to use fleece, um, so if you have this at home. If not, maybe you have some old towels that have seen better days. You'll also need a pair of scissors. Fabric scissors are great, but regular scissors will work just fine. Stapler, needle and thread could also be helpful. And some googly eyes. Because we need to make two shapes. I chose rectangles to make life plushy, but you need two shapes and you need them to be the same size. So basically, if I was cutting it from a t-shirt, I would cut this section, depending on how much I wanted, just to include the Tinkerfest, because I think that would be nice. My two pieces, there's my Tinkerfest logo. And then what you need to do is you need to make slits all the way across in both pieces of fabric so that you can tie the front piece to the back piece. So ties can be kind of tricky. What you need to remember is that you just need to make a circle and then put one of the ends through the circle. So this can take a little bit of time to master, but that's okay, you have a lot of ties. And once you get it down, you'll be a pro. So you wanna do this on each side. Do you notice anything about the shape here? That maybe there's some size difference? something to consider whenever you're thinking about how this is going to look in the end. Um, it does get smaller. So think about that as you're cutting. If you get tired, I know I it's a lot of tying and it's a lot of work. If your littles especially get tired, staplers are a great way of closing up your project pretty efficiently. Just make it fun with whatever you have around the house. I added googly eyes, you could also add a number of materials, whether it be recycled materials from packaging that you're getting or even just colored flyers you're getting in the mail, or maybe you have construction paper or felt or great ways to add some fun to your plushies. Please share with us your plushies and your process. We would love to see um, in the comments below how you're doing, but also make a journal entry. What, what went like you thought it would? What didn't? Is there anything that surprised you? Was it harder than you thought? Was it easier? Write down those thoughts, your process of making, and um, we would love to see some documentation of that. Thank you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna go outside for some nature and learn how to make it look a little bit like art.